What is chelation? Chelation therapy is a process in which a molecule has charges on it like a magnet and then comes a metal that has an opposite charge goes into that molecule into a pocket. It's like a baseball glove. And now it's not toxic and the kidneys are able to excrete it. And that's what we studied. I got interested in chelation therapy because I knew that it had been going on for many years, since 1956 in fact. And I can remember the day that we decided to do this study. A patient asked me in 1999 if he should have chelation therapy. And I said, of course not. And when I looked into it, I realized I'd had no reason to say he should and no reason to say he shouldn't. There was simply no useful information that I could use to give an answer to a patient. The study is very interesting and showed unexpected results. We recruited 1,708 patients who were at least 50 years of age and had had a prior heart attack. Half of them received chelation therapy with a material called EDTA and half of them received infusions in the vein of placebo or an inactive salt water. And we found that there was a reduction by 18% of all the kinds of cardiovascular events that can happen to people who've had a prior heart attack. That was statistically significant and I have to say it was quite surprising. From there we looked to see what types of patients seem to have a particularly good response. And we analyzed and found that patients with diabetes appeared to have a particularly good response to EDTA chelation therapy. What did the findings show for diabetics specifically? We found that in our group of 1,700 patients, about a third of them, 633, had diabetes. And in those patients, um, when we looked at them specifically, we found that there was a 41% reduction in the overall number of cardiac events that the patients being treated with chelation had compared to those who were treated with placebo. Among the differences that were particularly striking was about a 50% reduction in the risk of having another heart attack and about a 40% reduction in the risk of dying from any cause, for any reason. So these, again, are really unexpected results they're striking, and they're the kinds of results that lead you to ask more questions, to try to understand if we have a new treatment for diabetes that has been identified. Well, it's very interesting why patients with diabetes should do better with chelation therapy. It turns out that the reason that diabetes uh, hurts so many organs is because many of the glucose molecules, the sugar molecules, get linked and in order to have them get linked and get stuck in different parts of the body, uh, metals have to participate in that cross-linking. And if you remove those metals, the suggestion is that that might be the reason that chelation is particularly helpful in diabetics. Curiously, scientists who study diabetes have been interested for at least two decades in trying to see if you can prevent complications of diabetes by extracting metals. So what's the implication here for how we treat diabetics potentially in the future? I think that there may be future implications. This is very new. And a new finding like this, a single finding, does not by itself change clinical practice throughout uh, the world of treatment of diabetes. But it does give us a potential direction uh, to treat what is otherwise a pretty serious disease with sometimes terrible outcomes. What needs to happen next? What needs to happen next is that we need to do more science. We need funding to do additional studies and the additional studies really need to pin down exactly what is the mechanism of benefit in these diabetic patients. I think that we may be on the verge of a very interesting discovery that will help diabetic patients.